Hey, Captain Chris Myers here, Central Florida Site Fishing Charters. And many of you have already seen my video on the saltwater quick cast. It's a cast that we use here on the flats where you can start with the fly in your hand, some line outside your tip, and be able to reach distances of 50, 60, and even longer with two to three strokes. It's the only way you're going to get that far out with a couple of strokes if you start with line outside your tip. And here you can't let the line drag in the water. You can't have it piled up on the boat. You have to start with it in your hand. A couple of things that I see from having worked with people who watch the video that maybe weren't quite as clear in that video I'm going to try to, to uh, improve upon today and show you what I think is the, uh, the hardest part of this thing. The easiest part is your casting hand and for me that's my right hand does the same thing it does every single other regular cast. It's just like if I was casting starting with the line laid out in front of me. If it was laid out in the water or on the ground in front of me it would make a backstroke to make a forward stroke, back stroke, and a forward stroke. This hand does the same thing. So you don't have to change anything at all if you have a good regular cast. We're going to start with the fly in our hand. So instead of me starting my cast holding on to the fly line like I would normally do, I'm going to be holding the fly. I'm going to pinch the fly line itself underneath my finger up against the rod when I start. Hold the fly in my hand with the hook pointing away from me then I'm going to come above my leader. I'm going to get 15 to 20 feet of line at least outside my tip. I'm going to come above the point where my leader has joined my fly line somewhere, and you don't, it doesn't have to be an exact point. I'm just going to drape that over my middle finger. I'm not going to hold on to it. I'm just going to drape it there. That's just a place to hold this up out of the water so it's not dragging in the water. Now, I'm ready to, to uh, stand on the front of the boat and look for the fish. When I see my fish, the second I see that fish, this rod needs to be moving. The first direction it's going to move is backwards. We're going to cast just like the line was laid out, perfectly straight in front of us. So the first thing we do, make a back cast. I'm going to make a back cast, and when I do that, I'm going to allow the line over my middle finger to come off my finger. Make a back cast, that comes off, I'm still holding the fly. And here's where a lot of folks get into trouble, is they just either toss the fly down right away, or they let the back cast pull the fly out of their hand and it ends up in the water behind them. Still holding the fly, but what I want you to notice, what I didn't make quite clear in the last video is, this is where I'm holding the fly, out to my right hand side, next to the rod. I don't hold it up here, don't hold it down here. I want to hold it right next to the rod because as soon as that fly is pulled out of my hand, I need to transition over and grab the line. The farther away I get from there, the harder it is for me to get the line. And the longer it takes for me to get the line, the more chance this fly line has of getting into the water. The next step after I make my back cast is I'm going to make a forward cast, and the cast is going to pull the fly out of my hand. So as I make that cast, here's where I'm going to end up after the forward stroke. And as that fly line is unrolling in front of me, here's where I need to go to transition from this point and look how close to the rod I was when the fly pulled out. It wasn't again it wasn't down here. It definitely wasn't over here where it can come up and hit me or my rod. It was on the outside where that cast pulls it right by. Transition to this point. Grab the line. Now before it hits the water in front of me I can make another back cast, another forward cast, and I can let it go and I'm ready to fish. If I need to add one more stroke in there I can do that. But that's the key point, is the hardest part is that transition from here to here. Everything else is the same as any other regular good cast. It's a backstroke, a forward stroke, backstroke, forward stroke, let it go. So a lot of this is just convincing yourself that you can cast holding onto the fly. You don't need this hand, because this hand is not doing the casting for me ever. So I don't need this hand to cast. You know, I'm used to just holding the line in it. Well, the same as I can hold the line and cast like this, now, this is what you usually do. All you're going to be doing is pinching the line off. You can still cast this way because I don't need my left hand to cast. So my left hand is going to be right here holding this fly. The fly comes out, I transition to there. That's the hardest part. That's the part you need to practice. So I'm going to back up a little bit and show you so you can see the whole thing and we'll slow it down so you can get a really good look at it. And now I have uh, my 50 foot mark off my reel. I'm going to come up and grab the fly. When we're practicing, we just use a piece of yarn. This will be the bend of the hook of the fly I would hold. I 
come up here above my uh, leader, get some of this line, drape it over my finger. You, know, you don't have to do that part, that's just what works for me. Yeah, make sure I got line outside my tip, and the more line you can have outside your tip and control, the quicker you can get out to, those fi to the fish. If I start with 20 feet of line, a 10 foot leader, a nine foot rod, just by laying it down with one stroke, I'm 39 feet away. So if I shoot 10 feet of line, I'm at 50 feet, 11 feet of line, 50 feet away from the boat with two strokes. That's how we're gonna get there that quickly. So we're ready to fish. Here's our position. Fly underneath the rod, right here ready to go. So the second I see the fish, it's a back cast, a forward cast, back cast, forward cast. And there we go, the 50 foot line mark is outside the tip of that rod with two strokes. If you want to see that again, we'll peel off some even more. We'll add a third stroke in there, and you can see with three strokes, here's the 75 foot mark right there. We'll see if we can get, reach that far with three strokes. You want to keep the line outside my tip. Get my fly in my hand. Line outside the tip, and the reason we need this line outside the tip is without having line outside the tip of your rod, when you make those first couple strokes, you're not bending the rod because there's no weight outside the tip. Without weight outside the tip of the rod, it doesn't bend, the rod doesn't bend, it doesn't work properly, you can't make a good cast. We're ready to go. When we see those fish, it's a back cast, forward cast, back cast, forward cast. There we go. 75 foot mark with three strokes. That's the only way that I know that you're going to get that far that quick. Just for a demo, I'm going to show you what happens we want to try to get that far when we strip the line in. And we'll try to only get to the 50 foot mark. I'm going to strip it in because here's what the people that don't have uh, that in their toolbox, they cannot let the fly drag in the water. You just can't do it out here. You're going to have grass all over your fly. So your only other option is to strip it in real close and hold everything up out of the water. Then when you see the fish, here's what you got to do. See how much longer that took. By that time, in most cases, the fish are gone. You don't have the luxury of five, six, seven strokes. You gotta get it to them there right now, real quick and accurate. So learn the saltwater quick cast before you come flats fishing. It's not something that you're gonna pick up on the boat and be able to do in five or 10 minutes. It's something that you need to practice. And once you become proficient in that, you're gonna catch so many more fish when you're fishing the flats, I guarantee you.